the motivation behind the study is really that uh, the nature of the general counsel's role has been changing uh, over the past few decades. So typically, the role of the general counsel has really become more influential within the firm. So within our, within our sample uh, of S&P 1500 firms, uh, between the period of about the early 1990s to uh, around 2010, we see that the S&P 1500 firms with a general counsel in the top five executives increase from roughly 20% to roughly 40%. Uh, so studies have begun to look at what impact this has on the firm, what choices the firm are making. All right, now, what we decided to do in this study was take that uh, in a different direction and see how market participants view this information. Now, our paper doesn't show that they do anything bad. It's just the perception of the debt market itself. And so does the debt market perceive this as good or does it perceive it as bad? And so in our study, we show that the debt market perceives it as probably not the best thing. Um, it's not catastrophic for the firm, but it does have a meaningful impact on the firm's credit rating, on the spread, if you will, uh, on the credit default swap that investors are willing to pay. And so we were, we were pleased with the result. It's, interest, it's always interesting to find something that actually impacts the firm and investors as well. Previous studies have looked at the corporate general counsel's uh, effect on specific firm policies. Uh, but to date, we hadn't seen a study that looked at how market participants, how outsiders view this information. So that was really the main motivation for this study. And so I would say that we found something interesting to where if you promote your general counsel, there's a, there's a cost to the firm to doing that. Above and beyond just internal control or things of that nature, there's an external market cost to promoting your general counsel. We're showing within the setting a particular cost that the firm is going to incur from promoting the general counsel to a senior management position. But we're not looking at, uh, within this study, the benefits side. So there could be other benefits that the firm is gaining from promoting that general counsel. So we aren't necessarily saying that they should change their behavior, but more that they need to be aware of this when they uh, are taking this, this decision into consideration.